Hey there, Nanette. So today I'm going to be doing my first update on the Harry Potter and the Order of the Panners Project Pan that I am doing with uh, Musical.ly staff on YouTube and uh, Salted Fish Roll on Instagram. So uh, I want to just real quick take a moment to credit the creator of this, which they did last year in the group Fantastic Ladies, is Amanda D on YouTube. So I will leave a link to her channel below. Go and show her some love. She did create this last year. So we're just going to dive right into it. So I'm going to go house by house um, and show you my progress. So uh, the first house is Ravenclaw, as it should be. But unfortunately, as a Ravenclaw, I have disappointed myself and my Ravenclaw family by not doing super well on these two shadows. So these are the two um, ColourPop shadows that I wanted to try and hit pan on. Uh, it's currently... April 21st and we're going until I believe May 31st so I've got a little bit more than a month to keep going on these um, as you can see there's definitely divots in them and I have been using them but not nearly enough to use them up to where I need to get to but this is coconut it's a really pretty blue and this guy is white rabbit and both of them are beautiful I just forget to use them or I like to do other things and you know get distracted. So those are the Ravenclaw products. Next I have Slytherin. So for the green I have this Aurora Ipsy green color corrector in, in pistachio. So I actually have used this a good handful of times. Um, you can't really tell, although if you look right there underneath the bunny I think you can kind of see an air pocket. Um, it's hard to tell how much I've used in here. I definitely have a good amount left so I'm going to try and keep using this. I the biggest thing with this for me is I just forget. I just forget to use it. So um, it doesn't really blend super well, but once I put foundation over it, I find that it doesn't matter. So the next product I have is the uh, NYX Slide On Eye Pencil in Platinum, which is a really pretty silver. So I use this, the back of this palette, to mark it the first time. So if you can see up here, is where I was before that blue line and now I'm down here oh, let's see if I can do this without looking dumb but now I'm right there I wanted to use up two inches of this definitely not close to meeting that um, I haven't been using this one in the other gold eyeliner nearly as much as I need to be um, but you know it's it is what it is so I'll try and keep using that a little bit more um, let's go ahead and do Gryffindor next, so I had this Bite Amuse Bouche lipstick in it, and I haven't worn this. This is in Flambe, by the way. It's just so sticky that every time I think about wearing it, I'm like, no, let me wear something else right now. It's just not, it's annoying. Um, so I don't know if I'm going to meet my goal on this. It was to use it up. It only has, uh, I can't really read it. It's, it's a tiny container. Like, look at how tiny that is and it's you know not even that big inside so I don't know I need to just wear this a few times and and then try and do as much as I can all right and then for black oh wait I mixed this up oh my gosh I can't believe I just okay for cold I think it's because this ha is, has a gold out outer thing so I mixed it up with this one um for gold for Gryffindor I have this NYX pencil um, in Glam gl get Glitzy Gold, which I've used the same amount of uh, as the silver. Once again, I need to use this a lot more. Um, you know, still like it, so it's not terrible, but just need to keep using it. Um, then I have this Milani pencil for black for Hufflepuff. Um, this one I've actually done pretty well on, so I actually had this in another Project Pan and I wasn't using it hardly at all and so I put it into this one as well to try and motivate myself so I drew it on here if you can see this line right here is where I started yeah it started in February and this line down here is where I am now I only wanted to use an inch up of this so I think I'm on pretty good track to use this I'm gonna try and do a few good smoky eyes in the next month or so um, to, and I'm gonna use this as a base for that to try and use more of this up and then hopefully that will kind of keep the ball rolling for my other project pan which is year long and then the most successful I have been has been on the yellow what a surprise can you tell that I like yellow um, so this is the radioactive shade in the carity palette 
I don't know if you can tell, but there's a huge divot in this. And honestly, I'm, you know, I feel like I would probably hit pan on this anytime now. Um, it's what I have all over my eyes and down onto my face today. I use it all the time as a transition shade, as a shade alone, as a highlight shade. Um, not a highlight like here, but a highlight just to like brighten up the center or as this shade right here. Um, love it. Love this palette. Uh, as soon as I hit pan though, I'm going to stop using it and start using another yellow because I, uh, I don't want to use lose the yellow in this palette just because it's a really nice well-rounded palette. Um, and then finally I had my two bonus items. So for my bonus items I had this Magic Brow Brunette Magic Brow from Lord & Barry. I was using this a ton at the beginning of this project and then I kind of tapered off a bit. <laughs> I get it. Um, because it's super warm toned. And I think especially with my yellow hair right now, it's just not... Oh, ignored these three. I was testing out lipstick shades. Um, I'm just not super... I don't feel like it looks as good. Plus, the the top of it, like the tip of it, is pretty big. So you can't get super precise with it. So I need to try and get back into using this. But I will show you my progress. I wanted to use this completely up. Now, that probably means that, like, down to here. You know, because there's only so far you can sharpen it before you run out of something to hold on to, but um, from the bottom of the paper to the top, this is where I started and this is where I am now. So once again, I'll probably get to about here-ish. So definitely not halfway done, um, but you know, like I said, it is what it is. If I don't use it up, I don't use it up, but I want to at least try. And then my other fail has been this guy, Ofra Liquid Lipstick in Spell. I really like this. But I just haven't been wearing lipstick a ton because for school and playing instruments every day, um, like wind instruments, and I don't like to get lipstick all over my instrument as well as over, all over my face, so I just don't wear them as often. Um, my goal was to wear this 15 times, and I have worn it twice. So, we're going into May. Um, this is a very springy color. It's it's I'll show you. It's super beautiful and like I really like it. It's just like really kind of metallic -y. Uh Yeah, it smells like vanilla or cake mix like really pretty coral pink um, And it sits well it it wears down well I'm hoping now that we're getting into warmer weather and I'm almost done with school that I will wear that more often. So yeah, that's my uh, check-in. I'm gonna leave before and after pictures at the end of the video. Or not before and after, but starting and then now pictures so you guys can see a little bit closer just because I don't have a really intricate edit editing software so it's hard for me to cut in the middle. It just takes a lot of work and I don't feel like doing it. So um, yeah, I hope you're having a great day and I hope you like my look. Just jamming on the yellow. You can't really tell but my mascara on the top is blue, which is why I'm wearing the blue lipstick. But this is um, one of the NYX Liquid Suede, which is one of my favorite formulas. I forget. I think it's like Little Blue Dress or something. Something like that, uh, which is the shade name. So yeah, I'll see you when I see it, and hope you're having a good day. Bye.